Hi, this is Mr. Yo. Uh, welcome back. I'm in my first period class. Everybody say hi. Hi. All right, good. So today I'm going to show you guys how to do this orbital <laughs> notation. And using the orbital notation for the last set of orbitals, you're going to go ahead and write the set of quantum numbers that uh, help describe the last electron that you put in. So let's do a simple element like um, nitrogen. Okay, let's just write out the electron configuration for it first. So you guys are all skilled at this at this point. So 2p3. Okay, good. So 1s2, 2s2, 2p3. Now let's go ahead and draw the energy diagram for this. Okay, so let's draw the energy diagram for nitrogen. 1s2, 2s2, 2p. One, two. Now that last electron, I'm going to change the color a little bit. I'm going to put it as a red. And what I want you to do is to circle the last electron that you put in. Now, when you do this assignment, I don't need all of the other lower energy levels. The only thing that I want is the highest energy level orbitals that you drew. So all of this um, can actually just come out of your drawing. So in your handout that you guys are completing today, this is the only thing that I'm going to need. Now, now that I've circled that, I need to give the set of quantum numbers that describes the position of this red electron that I put into that last blank. So someone help me out. What is the set of quantum numbers that describes the position of this electron right here? So this is 2. This is 1 because we're in the P block, right? This is a 1 because we're in this blank right here. And then it's pointing up, so this will be a plus 1 half. Good. Excellent. So let's just review. This right here is N, okay, and that's the energy level. Okay, energy level. This right here is the block, okay, and that's L. Okay. So the block that it's in. This right here is the M, which is the magnetic momentum. So L is mag uh, angular momentum. This is magnetic momentum. This is the blank that it's in, okay, or what orbital in three-dimensional space. And then this right here is the spin. And again, the spin is either spin up or spin down. Okay, if it's spin up, it's plus one half. If it's spin down, it's negative one half. Cool. All right. Um, in another video, I'll go ahead and explain how the breakdown of each one of these quantum numbers would be. But for now, let's just stick with this. Uh, this is how you're going to do that uh, handout that I'm going to be giving you guys in class. All right. We'll talk to you guys soon.